Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to integrate your library or cloud ebooks with your LMS using LTI integration. Now, LTI is not just for single sign-on. You can get several other benefits from using LTI. For example, you'll get to control user access for your ebooks and library through your LMS. You'll also be able to import all of your user information from your LMS automatically into your Kutubi library. You will also be able to set different book permissions when accessing the library from within different course pages inside your LMS and much, much more. So let's now dive into the steps. Now, assuming you've already created your library through the manage panel, okay, you'll get to, uh, to access all of the settings, all of the sections of your library from this section. This is where you can control everything regarding your library. Okay. Now in the settings section, you can go to the integration step, and this is where I can enable LTI. After you enable LTI, you'll need to choose the version, the version of the LTI. Today, I'm going to show you version 1.1. After you choose the version, you'll need to generate the key and secret. Just click on the generate uh, button and then you click on save changes. After you do that, the next step is to go to the LTI section and create a course. This is the course that you're going to add to your LMS. So I'm going to add a course. I'm going to call it class A, then add the course. The course is added. Then you click on permissions. This is where you can choose the permissions of the users who will access this course. You can give them a global access to access all of the books inside the library. You can give them access to specific categories or specific books. You can even give access to specific pages inside the book. After you do that, you'll just click on OK here and go to the elements. I'm going to show you the integration on Moodle, okay? And you can replicate it on your LMS. So in Moodle, I'm going to click on Turn Editing On to be able to uh, use the LTI integration to add the course. And then you click on Add an Activity or Resource. Then you click on External Tool to add the LTI. Now you must be very careful in this part. The activity name here should be exactly the same as the one you created on Kutubi. I created it uh, with the name class A. It should be exactly the same. It's case sensitive. Then you click on show more here. Then we need to add the secure tool URL. You can find this URL on our step-by-step -step guide on the knowledge base support.kutubi.com if you forget it. Okay. And then I need to add the consumer key and the shared secrets at the shared secret I created on Kutubi. So I'm going back here to the settings. I will copy the key. Put it here. And then go copy the secret. And put it here. You can also choose what will happen when the user clicks on the course? You can choose it to open in, a, in the same window, in a new window, it's up to you. After you're done with that, you can just save and return to course, or you can save and display and see how it would look like when the user clicks on the course. So this is how it looks like from inside the elements. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next tutorial.